Power is like super caught up on ads. I accidentally hit the ad button. So for anyone who just got another set of ads, I deeply apologize. That was my fault. It is dead. And it's like, my hair is not soft when it's long. It gets, it, my hair is like hella coarse, like horse hair, literally. And so it's not like this long flowing, beautiful creature. It's like, oh wow, look at all that dead hair. <laughs> Just did seven laps around the room and clash, crash landed into the bin. What a precious boon. Oh my God, it's excellent. That's another thing. It takes me so long to dry my hair now. It is asinine. Like, ridiculous. Sarah, really? Oh, that's disgusting. Split in the middle and go off to the sides like the Queen in Alice in Wonderland and other psychos. Same. <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> Titan Pain Train! Am I gonna what sit? Next to this? I gotta sit Titan next to this thing. Pain train! And you wonder why? I'm Bitch, what? Dude! CRPS remnant with that fucking five gift subs from mobile. Ace underscore 2077, Alexander 98 Chan, Nuke the Mall, Voodoo Xlan, and Mista Mista. You are all butt wizards of the highest order. If you have been gifted a sub in my channel today, please give the channel a refresh so you don't have to suffer the ads for a whole month thanks to these generous bitches in my channel. Never stop at the cock! Mr. Mr. What's up? Unless you're not here. Sometimes subs call people out of lurking, but you never have to come out if you're gifted a sub. You still get to lurk, just so you guys know that. And there was one lady that looked at me funny when I said you need to have a mask on as I walked by. I would have said the same thing. I would have been like, it's awful selfish not to wear a mask out in public with a deadly coronavirus going round. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I forgot I'm a shocky bitch. What up, ho? Got me. I worked with where I work with disabled children, most from the native nations. The only girl I take care of has beautiful long hair, but it serves her nothing since so they always get in her mouth and other annoying things. Kids with long hair baffle me. Really, Mister? Oh, fuck, dude. Well, I mean, that's what you get for being a badass. Twitch just knows you're a badass bitch. What up? Absolutely. Remnant's major lurker. Like, Remnant usually just comes out of lurking to slam a gift sub on me and scare the shit out of me or something. I just said you need to have a mask and you're lucky the health department's not here because you'd be fined a th Oh dude, do they get fined? Seriously? Wow. I never miss it. I mean, uh, Greg, I've never been in a gift sub bomb or anything ever in a channel. People have gifted me subs like individually, but never in a gift bub sub bomb ever in my life that I'm aware of. Maybe in a channel I wasn't in. They do, Sarah? Wow. And people still are being that selfish. Ooh, all my mom's hair fell out in her early 30s, so I wasn't allowed to cut my hair until I was 15. What? My mom wouldn't let me ha have my hair long at all. She wouldn't let me have it long, and I could not have it in my eyes. Like, if I had bangs and I let my hair greasy hair hang in my eyes, she'd come at me with bobby pins and pin that shit out of my eyes. We had a friend when I was a kid who, it was her good friend, and she had a son and she let his hair grow really long, but never brushed it. So it just turned into one gigantic dreadlock on the back of his head. And I, so I think she had like this weird, like, oh my God, my kid's gonna get a weird dreadlock on her head, you know? God damn, that zappy thing is so weird. Look at my little companion though, punching people in their dicks. Oh fuck, I didn't tweet that we're playing the game. Good idea, guys. 
I got all the bad guys, right? I'm not just gonna stop and sit in danger. I think we did. This guy was doing a 24 hour stream. Every sub, he added an extra hour. Dude, I've learned that that's what's called a subathon, and I, I, no. No. Where's my phone? Must twat! Brandon, no shit. Oh, I love scarves. Actually, in the wintertime when my hair is really long, I wear a lot of scarves because it keeps my hair from getting knotted on the back of my neck. These little hairs, like, at the base of my neck just turn into, like, a dreadlock. Really, if I don't braid them or something when my hair's long. That was sort of reprovable. Big-ass streamers should never do that. I kind of agree. It's kind of weird. I don't know. If I see a big-ass streamer doing a subathon, I always get kind of curious. Like, what do you... There are people out there that need money, bro. You have 40 million subs. Get off your ass. Okay. What's my picture? No. Thank you. Dude, I'm not even kidding you. I have a shit ton of scarves, like an asinine amount, because as a woman with odd hobbies, when my family gets me gifts, they don't know what to do, so it's just always a scarf. The ima I, I think every single scarf I own was a gift. Anybody else have that problem? As a girl, it's like you get scented candles, strange lotions, or scarves. That's like our MO, I guess. If you're weird and no one knows what to do for you. <laughs> I'm tweeting that we're playing the game because this game is so dope. Oh, let's do a giveaway while we're tweeting. That's a good idea. Because I got codes. Ooh, I do have a Doctor Who scarf. I have a Doctor Who scarf. I have some homemade scarves that people have made for me. I have a Slytherin scarf or two. I have a Seahawks scarf or four. When you live in Seattle and you're a girl, you get a lot of Seahawks shit, even though you're not a football fan. What was I doing? Giveaway. Where's my bot? There you are. All right. Boom, boom. Everyone can join. It's going to go for 10 minutes. All you have to do when I say so is type exclamation point dream big. It started exclamation point dream big in the chat. If you would like a copy of Dreamscaper for yourself for Steam, it's an amazing game. I fucking love it. And yes, you may enter to give it to somebody if you already own it. I have no problem with that at all. Spread the fucking love of the game. All right. We finish this tweet. All right, tweet, plot, tweeted. Boom. Oh, absolutely, Ali, you're a sub, so you can post links if you'd like. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's sub protected, literally, just so strangers don't come into my channel and like post porn or something gross, you know. Is he precious? Is this him with his eyes out? Everybody click that link immediately. Oh my god. He looks so much like an Ewok still though. Like 
I can't. Ye old prawn box. <laughs> he looks precious. I mean, it does make him look older. Like, he kind of looks like... Like, before he looked like a super stoner, and now he looks like that stoner that, like, had the, the weird, you know, his parents took him to church and cleaned him up. <laughs> the cuteness virus, seriously, that dog is fucking precious. Gus Gus is a Shih Tzu, right? Gus Gus is a baby Shih Tzu, brand new to this world, and precious bean. Stoner glow up, for real. Ooh! Oh my gosh, yes. Sarah, tell me how you guys like it. I've heard it's really good. Oh, he's beautiful, Jack. If you go into our um, Discord, you can see pictures of him with his long hair. He's not like any cuter or uglier, but you can see just the difference in him. Who's a button? That sounded like the singing flowers in Pee Wee's Playhouse. 100% a compliment, right? How long ago? Oh, did you find it? Okay, good. I was going to say, I have the file. I mean, I wanted to thank you for rating DJ that one day, Katie, because I forgot he streamed. Dude, DJ is like the male version of me. Did you guys see how much he sings? I felt like I was watching myself. Like, I'm afraid if DJ and I were in the same room, it would break out into a really awkward musical and no one would want to hang out with me again. Wrong DJ, but hi, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> we raided DJ Knight the other day. <laughs> <clears throat> Lies and slander. I don't know, dude. He sings a lot. Like, not more than me, but a significant amount of singing. And I'm that way. Like, anytime anyone says something that's a lyric to some song, I know I have to burst out into that song and then scream DM DMCA somewhere in it so I don't get in trouble. <gasps> and Shem, it's really good. Um, I play with a controller. I, I'm sure you could play with a keyboard and mouse, but I really like it with a controller. It it just runs really well. And I know that they're, they'll be releasing this on um, Switch as well. Soonish. If it's not already out. Oh my god, not enough gun. Dude. A fucking men to that. That first chug of water when you get out of bed and you're like... Because <sighs> you haven't drank anything in six to eight hours. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, the part where people wouldn't want to hear it. Oh, it'd be, it would get annoying. I'm sure it would. I'm a really good whistler. Like, I can whistle really, really well. It's a strange, odd talent I have. And everybody's like, wow, your whistle's great. My parents fucking hate it. My mom will put her hand over my mouth or literally stick her finger in my mouth to make me stop. They, I get annoying, I feel like, after a certain amount of time. I'm basically a walking Disney movie. Except instead of cute birds and squirrels, it's like tarantulas and deadly scorpions, but kind of. Yeah, my mom hated it. To this day, she fucking hates it. But I can whistle literally anything. It's really weird talent. I don't know why. Consciously commanding that adds additional hits to your attacks. All right. We have 725 sand. A decent drencher. Ranged weapon. 60 water DPS. Wet. Slow down for two seconds. Longbow. What was this other one? That's a... What is my ranged weapon right now? It's kunai. And this would be... Probably a good move. Oh my god. This summer... This summer, vengeance is wet. Oh, thank you, MMO. I, tr I don't try to be annoying. I don't think I've ever tried to annoy anybody. Except car trips. If you don't let me pee or eat. I will annoy you on purpose. I can't stand that. My parents, we used to do tons of car trips as a kid because we lived in eastern Washington and my whole extended family is in western Washington. So all the time, like at least three times a year, we were driving across the country. And my parents were just obsessed with like, well, if we just keep going, it'll only take us six hours. And I'm like, I'm going to fucking wet my pants and I can't breathe because I'm so thirsty. And they, my dad still wouldn't stop. And so we would start singing the song that never ends or something. This is the song that never ends. Like screaming it in the backseat. All me and my three sisters. Like it was. They pissed. They hear dad. Oh no. Ooh, karate gi. Oh my God, I got a gi. Adorable. Knives, yes. 
Katie, you and I are the same. I do the same thing, being pretty annoying, being petty annoying. Oh, absolutely. I would push you out of the car. At least I'd be able to piss. They could have left me. I wouldn't give a fuck. There is nothing, no worse feeling in the world than that pinnacle of needing to pee where you're just aching. Have you ever been at that point? Like, you just, everything in your body hurts and you're sweating because you have to pee so fucking bad. They would do that to me. Us, all of us. It was fucking ridiculous. Ooh, ah, Red Haven Theaters. There are no servers bringing food. There's no fancy cocktail bar. The floors are sticky and the seats are tattered and squeaky. The only They only play classic movies and the popcorn is fake buttery and delicious. Ooh, I would like a theater. I absolutely love this theater. I'd like a theater like that. The bottom of the sign looks like a PPE though. Oh no, you go to the bathroom or eat. But if you, see, I wasn't annoying unless they did that to me. It was payback. I'm not petty annoying for no reason. That's petty. I mean, that's the, you get petty because of something else happening. I was petty because they would make it so I didn't, wasn't allowed. I just had to sit there and like not piss. Like, that's crazy. That's like abuse. Don't abuse me like that. Oh, wow. Okay, that was dope. Wow, what is this? Dude, I'm a beast. Wow. Ooh, idea, a power cord? Rock out and send your foes reeling with the force of this lethal power cord. Dope. <clears throat> oh yeah, no. Told us we had to learn to hold it. Yeah, I, I'm a great person to go on a road trip with. I'm silent. I'm either singing along with the radio, reading a book, or sleeping. I love, I fall, I'm like um, borderline like narcoleptic in cars. I love sleeping in a moving car. Like it's one of my biggest pleasures in life. It's weird. I just sleep the best in a car. Like I have the best sleep in my life. So I'm great until I need to pee or get a drink. And if you don't let me pee or get a drink, I'm gonna fucking make your life miserable. That's not okay. Oh fuck, not the red shit. Oh God, Katie, no. <sighs> huh, interesting. Yeah, my dad did the same thing. We tell me or my brothers go in a bottle. <laughs> Jesse Robbins, you silly fuck. You just scared the shit out of me. Thank you for those biddies. Yeah, but the thing is like, my brother, like, it was all girls. Like my brothers would be in a different car. We had so many siblings, we'd usually take two cars. And so all the girls would be in one and we'd like make a bed out of the back of the seat. Like. This is Sparta! Die, motherfucker! And then all the guys would be in a different car. And they always got to stop. Like we'd see them at McDonald's as we passed. And I'm like, why do the boys get to eat? Oh, <gasps> Jesse Robbins. Bitch. Thank you for those seven months. I appreciate you, you silly shit. I love fake butter movie popcorn. It's the best. Having to pee in bottles is how I stop being pee shy. Oh my God, I used to have, I still kind of have pee fear. Like a little bit. I don't know why. I think like my brothers traumatized me when I was a kid by like trying to break the door down while I was trying to take a shit. And then I would traumatize my sister because bullies, bullies create bullies. And now, now it's just a paranoia. I'm like, someone's gonna break in and look at my vagina. <laughs> Oliver, if I was stuck in a car with my brother, they always wanted to play corners. And I would always be in the window seat and they would fucking crush me. Corners is a bullshit game, don't do that. Oh, don't die, Katie, no. Not today, please. Not today. Holy muffins. What's corners? So every time the car goes around a corner, you all lean with the corner and crush whoever's on that side. Like literally you just lean as hard as you can and crush that person. It's terrible. Corners is a horrible game. Don't play corners. It's mean. I had so many inexplicable bruises from corners. Ooh, this is a pretty room. Spend 20 health, get one key. I don't have enough health to do this yet. 
Oh yeah, I'd get tickle tortured. My sister get tickle tortured until she wet herself. That was pretty sad. Um, my brothers mainly just chased me around with cleavers and pinned me against walls with syringes in their hands saying that the doctor was in and it was time to get fucked up or something. That was mainly my childhood. Fuck. Dude, Oliver, do we live the same life? I'm not even kidding you. My brother, my brother, Corey, used to get on the trampoline. A newbie, what up? My brother, Corey, used to get on the trampoline and he would take his shirt off and he'd go, the beatings will now begin. And if we didn't get on the trampoline, meaning me and all my sisters immediately, then he would come into the grass and throw us on the trampoline and then beat the shit out of us on the trampoline. Like pretend, pretend wrestling moves. It was terrible. Brother Corey, am I your brother? No, my brother's in and out of prison and has a whole bunch of kids with some crazy lady. You wouldn't want to be him. This is nerve wracking. Holy shit, I did it. Uh. I used to have a nervous bladder. I only get a nervous bladder. I'm your new brother, Corey. Thank you. Can we make new memories together that don't involve cleavers or yelling? Mine love the Hardy Boys, so I was subject to a lot of swanton bombs. Oh my God. I'm not even kidding you. I think I have a complex about people not giving a shit about what I say because the entire time I live with my brother, Corey, anytime I tried to say something at the dinner table, breakfast table, anytime, I'd be like, hey mom, it doesn't matter what you think. Corey, please stop. It doesn't matter what you think, you jabroni. He would just interrupt me constantly until I just stopped trying to talk. <clears throat> Trampoline wrestling. It wasn't fun, though. Like, we'd get our fucking heads stuck in the springs and shit. It was bad. Oof, we got actually hurt a lot on the trampoline. Ooh, sand. Cute. Thank you. MMO, my brothers had a lot of anger and hate in their life. And I think they just projected it on us because by the time my sister and I were born, there was a lot less chaos in the house. So they, to them, it was not fair. You know, we weren't getting abused by Jane or whatever. So I think they took it out on us because like, how dare we not get abused because we came along later or something? I don't know. People make up weird reasons for weird things. No, it is not the wisest of things. He would always want to do something, and I said, no, let's do my thing first, and then yours, and we'd never do his thing. Oof. I, one time I convinced my sister she was so sick that she wasn't allowed to wear pants or eat, and she called my Annie Lane, and my Annie Lane came over and told her she was sick, and so she hid in her room with food. I was a mean sister, too. I think we're all mean sisters at one point. None of us can pretend we're not. Dude, I really like my stomp. What do I have right now? I have feather foot flip. Um, hold on. I have, oh God, I can buy anything. Sick. What's this one? That's the Shuriken super slugger melee weapon. A companion flies forward, then back with each attack dealing 11 damage. Why not? Oh wait, I have craft. No, I have something better. Oh, excuse me while I do a little flip. My sister was the mean sister. She's four years older than me. I'm four, I'm four years and nine months older than my sister. I had no one to be mean to. See, I was like a dead middle child. So I like got all the bullying and tried to be a bully to my little sister, but it didn't really work. Like my sister and I are really close. I didn't want to be mean. My brother and I would play a game called Handle the Jandle. We would play on the trampoline and he would jump around slapping the shit out of each other with jandle. Flip flop. Oh my God. I call them slippers. Slippers, flip flops. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. When we were little and running around the house, he had a blanket dragging behind him and I stepped on it. Oh, MMO. I didn't break my sister's arm, but my mom has a home video of I was holding an ace bandage and my little sister, she's like two years old, would stretch it out all the way and then like just let it go and it would pull her in and she'd laugh hysterically. 
and my mom's videotaping us do this and then my mom puts the camera on me and I just let go of the ace bandage and watch my sister go flying and fall over and cry. Kids, I mean, I think childhood's all about like experimenting to see what what happens to people. Turns your attacks into a defensive option? That's pretty dope. I kind of want that health. If I got the health, then I could go trade the health for a key and then we can go into this room. Let's go down here and see if we can get any more sand first. Because if I get a little bit more then I can get both of those things, that would be dope. All animals do it, dude. It's true. It's true. We would break them from slapping impact. What the fuck? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, CJ, it really is. Animals bully each other too. They learn by play and correction. Exactly. And we were alone like all the time. We were, there were so many siblings of different ages that as long as one of the siblings was like at least 12, my mom, we were just left alone with all of us. So we just, you know, did shit. That's some rough sandal slapping for real though. Jesus Christ. I can't wait till it's warm enough to wear short shorts again. I don't even remember what, the other day I took a shower or yesterday I took a shower and I shaved my legs and I was just like looking at my legs. I had come, I just had, I, I forgot what my legs looked like. That's how long I've been in leggings and leg warmers cause it's been fucking freezing here. Just forgot. I was like, do my legs look thinner? No, I just don't think I've seen him in six months. I used to ask my little sister where her imaginary friend was, then punch the crap out of it. Oh my God, Emmy Lou, my little sister had an imaginary friend, but her imaginary friend was always injured. And it was the weirdest thing. I can't remember what her name was. It was like Shanana or something stupid, some weird made up name. But she always had like broken legs or broken arms or like something. Anytime you ask my little sister when she was little, it was weird. I like winter, so I don't have to shave my legs. I shave my legs at a certain point. Um, mostly because my legs get really, really dry in the winter and I can moisturize them more effectively if I shave them. I still remember the day when it was me, brother, cousins, were the same age as us, locked our parents out of the house for three hours and tore the house apart. That's beautiful. We tore it apart with my parents' home, man. I do. I do wait until I can use the shears. It's true. Honestly, I forget about my leg hair because I'm just not a hairy person. I don't have much body hair. Like, a couple pubes, a couple armpit hairs, peach fuzz. So, like, when I'm wearing leggings all the time, I just completely fucking forget that I have leg hair. All right, Mo, good luck. Ooh, I'm making a bowl and putting a dab on it if y'all would like to join me. I've had my heating pad on my back because this morning I was doing fine, took a shower, felt really good, um, was waking up and I went to sit at my desk to start up stream and my back spasmed. I was like, no, immediate like lightning bolt up my back just from sitting in my chair. Ooh. Oh, the packing. I love purging though. I love purging. Not my stomach, my house, if that wasn't clear. Oh, oh no. I had some super cool mirrored sunglasses that I only let my sister wear when we were playing cards. Oh God, where is this going? Wait, should I put on my mirrored sunglasses? Hold on. These aren't mirrored, but I'm ready. All right, continue. Oh, it crashed? Oh fuck. When I lost my house job over a year ago, I've been ho I've been houseless, living out of backpacks since then. I stopped shaving my legs, told myself it's not going to shave them again until I'm crawling in my own bed with my own fresh, clean sheets in my own bedroom again. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, you're a wild bitch right now. Aw, CJ, you guys know more about me than probably anyone except my sister. 
I think my sister pretty much knows everything about me, but no one asks, honestly.